Frances Bavier, a beloved actress known for her role as Aunt B in the classic TV show The Andy Griffith Show, endeared herself to audiences with her warmth and humor. Which of her works holds a special place in your heart? Among her numerous legendary performances, which do you think defined her career? Share your cherished memories or personal experiences related to this classic star in the comments below. And keep watching this video for funny, shocking, and sad facts about her life. In the realm of classic television, one figure stands out for her unforgettable role in a beloved series. Known for her portrayal of Aunt B, this talented actress left a lasting impression on audiences. Her performance resonated deeply, setting a standard for professionalism and dedication in the industry. She didn't just act, she became a symbol of authenticity and relatability, inspiring many to pursue their own dreams in Hollywood. Her work remains a cornerstone of American TV, shaping entertainment for generations to come. Through her talent and commitment, she left a profound impact on the world of film and television, etching her place as one of the most cherished actresses of her time. In the realm of classic television, there's a story that often gets overlooked. It's about a talented actress who brought to life a beloved character, yet behind the scenes, her relationship with the lead actor wasn't as warm as you might expect. The show, known for its heartwarming tales, had a twist of its own in real life. Despite her warmth on screen, off-camera dynamics between the lead actor and her proved to be less than harmonious. The rumors of their strained relationship circulated during the show's run, adding an interesting layer to the series. Interestingly, attempts were made to mend fences, but they were met with disappointment. It wasn't until later, when the actress was ailing, that she opened up about her regrets regarding their past differences. Time seemed to soften the edges of their professional discord, allowing a glimpse of reconciliation in the face of mortality. Post-retirement, she immersed herself in charitable endeavors, displaying a side of her personality that was less known to the public. However, as the years progressed, she gradually withdrew from the spotlight, choosing a more private existence. The life of the actress, both on and off the screen, continues to captivate fans and historians alike. Her portrayal of the character endures as a reminder of her acting prowess, while the complexities of her relationships behind the scenes add an interesting layer to the narrative. This brief exploration into her life provides a glimpse into the person who breathed life into the beloved character. The dynamics between her and the lead actor remain a fascinating chapter in television history, offering a nuanced perspective on the challenges faced by those who bring our favorite characters to life. Frances Bavier, known for her role as Aunt B. Taylor in The Andy Griffith Show and its sequel Mayberry RFD, was fiercely dedicated to her craft. During the filming, she once firmly declared, Nobody will move me. I am not a dining room table. I am not a sofa. I am not a rug. How dare you? Her commitment to her character was evident, and it extended beyond the set. In the series, Aunt B, portrayed by her, became an iconic figure. Andy Griffith even insisted that if he ever married Helen, he would want Aunt B to live with him. However, Frances Bavia's dedication to her work was clear when, instead of moving with Andy and Helen, she opted to stay with Sam Jones, indicating her desire to continue working for the network. Throughout the series, in its spin-off, Frances Bavia's portrayal of Aunt B remained consistent. In real life, the actress never married nor had any children. Her commitment to her role and her career was evident both on and off screen. In the realm of entertainment, a certain individual shone brightly, earning recognition for their exceptional talent. During the 1950s, this person received several awards for their outstanding performances, including a Primetime Emmy Award for Best Supporting Actress in a Comedy Series in 1957. As their career progressed, they continued to receive honors, marking significant moments in their journey. Notably, they were bestowed with the Theatre World Award in the same decade, acknowledging their contributions to the stage. Their impact on television history was further underscored when they received the TV Land Award for Favorite Granny in 23. Throughout their lifetime, this individual remained dedicated to their craft, earning accolades such as the 1967 Andy Griffith Show Reunion and the 1986 Mayberry Days Lifetime Achievement Award. These honors not only celebrated their past achievements, but also recognized their ongoing influence in the entertainment world. In summary, this individual's career was adorned with well-deserved accolades spanning from the 1950s to their lifetime achievements. These awards serve as a testament to their exceptional talent and lasting influence on the world of entertainment. She found her Siler City home without seeing it, drawn to North Carolina's beauty. I, like a child, came here looking for a fairyland, she once said. In 1959, she starred in the live-action reference footage for Walt Disney's Sleeping Beauty. 
She portrayed Aunt B. Taylor in The Andy Griffith Show. The show premiered in October 1960. Before that, the characters of Andy and Opie made their debut on the Danny Thomas show Danny Meets Andy Griffith in February 1960. The production company of Danny Thomas produced both shows. She was initially introduced as Harriet Perkins. Before her famous role on television, she had her share of behind-the-scenes moments. Despite her charm on screen, she wasn't always pleased with her co-star's behavior. Once, she took matters into her own hands, literally, and struck a colleague with an umbrella due to their use of inappropriate language. Interestingly, before the show officially aired, there was an earlier episode where the main character appeared. She also made an appearance in this episode, but not as her famous character, she portrayed someone else instead. Off camera, she had a passion for cars. At the time of her passing, she owned a particular car. A year later, it was sold for a significant sum. In one memorable episode of the show, her character learns to drive and purchases a car from another character. The character also had to give her driving lessons before the main character would allow her to buy the car. Her life off screen was just as interesting as her on screen persona, making her a fascinating figure both on and off the set. On the set of a popular TV show in 1960, the director hinted at Discord with one of the cast members, mentioning that this person didn't seem to enjoy being around children. Later in 1972, after retiring, the individual chose seclusion in their two-story home in Siler City, North Carolina. Rarely venturing outside, they left most of their $700,000 estate to a hospital foundation. Unfortunately, the home they lived in for 17 years suffered irreparable damage from their 14 house cats upon their death. Despite their on-screen good-hearted image, fellow cast members often recall this person as difficult, temperamental, and somewhat cold. Even the show star admitted, there is just something about me this person did not like. In the world of showbiz, their off-screen life seemed to contrast with the warmth they portrayed on television, leading to an enigmatic legacy. A well-known actress from classic television was a big fan of Studebaker cars. She owned one from the mid-1960s, possibly from 1964 and 1966, and drove it to work during the filming of her popular shows. After she retired and moved to North Carolina, she held on to the car, but stopped driving it around 1983. Sadly, when she passed away in 1989, the car was found in bad shape. However, it was eventually sold at auction to two devoted fans for $20,000. She had attended acting school in 1925 and was once married, but her marriage ended due to differences in their career goals. Her ex-husband had served in the military. In her later years, the actress known for her role as Aunt B on a popular TV show lived a quiet life away from the bustling Hollywood scene. Despite portraying warm characters on screen, she preferred solitude and declined social invitations. Her health declined rapidly, leading to her confinement in a nursing home. Eventually, she passed away, leaving behind memories of kindness and warmth. Despite her popularity, she chose a simple life far from the glitz of showbiz. Her decision to retreat from fame was a sharp contrast to her on-screen persona. Nonetheless, fans continue to remember her talent and the joy she brought to television. In the realm of television, there's often more to actors' lives than what meets the eye on screen. Take, for instance, a beloved character known for her warmth and kindness. Despite the cheerful facade, this actor led a rather solitary existence off camera. Away from the spotlight, she grappled with personal challenges, leading her to retreat from social interactions. This unexpected contrast between her public persona and private reality sheds light on the complexities within her life. Her reclusive nature became more apparent as she grew older, distancing herself from colleagues and acquaintances. This withdrawal from the outside world paints a poignant picture, contrasting sharply with the character she portrayed on television. Behind the comforting demeanor was a woman facing her own battles. Her choice to live a more isolated life serves as a reminder that the personal struggles of even the most beloved figures may remain hidden behind the fame. In the world of entertainment, her story serves as a reminder that appearances can be deceiving and the personal struggles of public figures may often remain unseen. A beloved TV figure, known for portraying the endearing Aunt Bee, led a life quite different from the character she brought to life on screen. While Aunt Bee exuded warmth, the actress struggled with her own set of challenges behind the scenes, feeling isolated from her fellow cast members. Despite the camaraderie scene in the show, her personal journey was marked by shadows of depression and battles with alcoholism. These struggles cast a veil over her otherwise successful career in the entertainment industry. The solitude she faced off camera contrasted sharply with the familial bonds she portrayed in Mayberry. 
In the midst of professional triumphs, she navigated the lonely corridors of her own emotions, finding solace in the characters she portrayed rather than the companionship she seemingly offered to viewers. It's a reminder that celebrities' public personas often mask the complex realities they grapple with behind closed doors. Her life story serves as a reminder of the nuanced nature of fame and the silent battles fought away from the spotlight. Her legacy prompts reflection on the delicate balance between public adulation and the private struggles faced by those who entertain us.